Have you ever noticed water droplets gathering on the outside of a cold glass? Have your glasses ever fogged up when you step outside on a hot, humid day? If so, then you already know a little about condensation. Condensation is an important part of the water cycle. It is what causes clouds to form in the sky. Condensation is the opposite of evaporation. When water evaporates, it changes from a liquid into a gas called water vapor. When water condenses, it changes from water vapor gas back into a liquid. If you recall, water evaporates when it is heated by the sun. The water vapor rises up into the atmosphere. Up in the sky, temperatures are much cooler than they are on the ground. These cooler temperatures cause the water vapor to condense or change back into small liquid drops of water. Even on days with a clear blue sky and no clouds in sight, there is still water in the air. Some of it is water vapor and some has changed into water droplets that are too small to be seen. We call this water humidity. You can feel humidity during the summer in some climates. The air actually feels wet. These tiny water droplets cling to particles of dust, salt, and smoke in the air and grow larger. They gather together to form clouds. Clouds can look different depending on how high in the sky they form. Sometimes too many water droplets gather together in the cloud. When this happens, they get too heavy to stay up in the air. The droplets fall back to the ground as precipitation, usually rain. Clouds don't always form high in the sky. Cloud banks can form at ground level, blanketing the Earth's surface. Fog is a little different than a cloud because it does not require rising air. Fog happens when wet, humid air comes in contact with a cold surface, usually the Earth's surface. This video was created by La Fontaine of Knowledge. Click the link in the description for lesson materials that go along with the video. And subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.